CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman joins us now. Ricky, if you were involved in this case on either prosecution side or defense side, and you had to make a to-do list, where would the question of whether the defendant is, uh, doesn't, isn't going to face future prosecution, where would that be on the to-do list of things you'd want to get worked out before you got in before the judge? Clearly, number one, John, one of the things that is so stunning about what happened in court yesterday is that the most basic issue was, were the defense and the prosecution in agreement, followed by the issue, could Hunter Biden enter a plea knowingly and voluntarily and intelligently. Those are the three questions that the judge has to ascertain. So what happened, John, is first the judge, who was very probing about the agreement itself, which none of us had seen until perhaps late last night or this morning, the judge was stymied by a provision in the attachment, which is called the pretrial diversion, that had to do with a gun, that the gun charge would just go away if Hunter Biden went into a diversion program for two years. What the judge saw was that the responsibility for deciding if he had violated the diversion agreement during that period of time became hers. This is not a judicial function. It's a prosecutorial function. So that's what initially alerted her. But once she was alerted to a problem, she had to question Hunter Biden further. And that's when the issue came up that he clearly was not knowingly entering the plea agreement that the prosecutor thought he was entering. So, Ricky, if this question, if the other big question here is whether Hunter Biden can be prosecuted for any other things that are still being investigated by the prosecutors, if that is if that has to be resolved, how does that get resolved until the prosecutors finish all that other investigating they're doing? Well, I think that both sides have a sincere interest in getting this resolved as soon as possible. The government really doesn't want to try this case in uh, Delaware. You've got a family with a favorite son of Delaware. You have someone who has a real defense about being a drug addict and an extraordinary, out-of-control drug addict who did not face his responsibilities, that they would rather not try the case. And the defense obviously has an interest in not having him prosecuted for other crimes. They've got enough time, John, that they could try to work this out. Now, the question becomes your issue, which is, can they work out a new plea agreement with this foreign lobbying issue holding over them? Hunter Biden's lawyers and Hunter Biden cannot afford the possibility that if Donald Trump or another Republican should be elected president in 2024, that they might not come back and prosecute him. So they need to resolve this, even if there is an investigation that right. continues. All right, Ricky Kleeman, thank you so much for helping us sort through that.